All samples of the concrete must be obtained and prepared in accordance with BS EN 12350 Part 1. Dampen the mould and base plate and place the mould on the horizontal base plate. During filling of the mould, hold it firmly against the base plate by standing on the two foot pieces. Fill the mould in three layers each approximately one-third of the height of the mold when compacted. Compact each layer with 25 strokes of the tamping rod. Uniformly distribute the strokes over the cross-section of each layer. For the bottom layer, this will necessitate inclining the rod slightly and positioning approximately half the stroke spirally towards the center. Compact the second layer and the top layer each throughout its depth so that the strokes just penetrate into the immediately underlying layer. In filling and compacting the top layer, heap the concrete above the mould before tamping is started. If the tamping operation of the top layer results in subsidence of the concrete below the top edge of the mould, add more concrete to keep an excess above the top of the mould at all times. After the top layer has been compacted, strike off the surface of the concrete by means of a sawing and rolling motion of the compacting rod. Remove spilled concrete from the base plate. Remove the mould from the concrete by raising it carefully in a vertical direction. Perform the operation of raising the mould in 5 to 10 seconds by a steady upward lift, with no lateral or torsional motion being imparted to the concrete. Carry out the entire operation from the start of the filling to the removal of the mould without interruption and complete it within 150 seconds. Immediately after removal of the mould, measure and record the slump by determining the difference between the height of the mould and that of the highest point of the slumped test specimen. The test is only valid if it yields a true slump, this being a slump in which the concrete remains substantially intact and symmetrical. Report the true slump to the nearest 10 millimetres. The following information must be included in the test report.